your travelers welcome to Montserrat and you're driving with the taxi and the name is Moose cool <laughs> <laughs> friends I'm Moose and we are on a detour just begin the tour so we are in Cars Bay on our way to the observatory where they monitor the volcano from and we are also on the main street of Montreal because we don't have a town you don't really have a proper town because no because they are in the process of doing a new town that is in Little Bay because Plymouth was your old town Plymouth was the old town and it totally destroyed. So everything is just sparsely spread out now. Yes, and they use this road here on our way to Bridge because when the disaster happened in this area is where most of the merchants would get land to buy, lease or rent. So most of the big stores they rented land in these areas and the banks so we only have a main street we find all the commercial buildings and so on in front of us here is the governor's office and the digital office is downstairs but the top of it is the governor's office and we are still British rule so you'll find we have a governor and a premier yeah. and how, what's the population? the population of Montserrat was 30,000 and now we only have about 4,500 sometimes they say go up to 5,000 but in between 4,005 most of the time you know because we're British rule most of the people went to England but they were offering you like $10,000 if you want to go to the neighboring islands like St. Kitts, Nevis, Antigua but most of the people choose to go to England so when you go to England you get all your benefits. Mm. So most of the yachts used to anchor in this area here. And here's where the golf course used to be. This whole area was the golf course. And on that side over there, they call it Beverly Hills. A lot of rich people live over there. Yeah, and I don't think they get insurance and so on for houses in that area. So all this was ash flow, flowed all the way down yes, here? Yes, definitely. Oh, you can start to see Plymouth Town off in the distance. Right.
condos. Yeah. And that's the main wharf. And pretty much check it. All the buildings destroyed. And we also had a medical school on that other side, American University. On that other side, we see some long buildings. Right. And they're all destroyed. You know, and as time goes by, every now and again, you have mud flow coming down. So it always stays that brown. And then a lot of gas coming from the volcano today. That blue ray you see there, that's gas coming from the volcano. Sometimes we have to move back quicker than we expect because it just smell very strong. Yeah. And that strong smell so that smell just like rotten egg. And that is the sulfur. Right. Yeah. This is, the, this is the main road in Montserrat. It's beautiful. But we're here to Runaway God. If you drink from this, burn. To Montserrat, you will return. Have a drink, Paul. You want to come back here? Yeah. Pleasure, there's walking up the steps. How's it taste? Really good. So peaceful. That's really good. I felt my water bottle. That's some of the best water ever. And we just at the fountain, the runaway got water, just drinking some. So I want them to come back to Monstrat so it was a must they drink some of the water. And they did. So we're pulling anchor at Montserrat. There, now it's off. Heading to Ile de Saint tonight for an overnight passage. Got some wind. Hopefully the waves are calmed down since yesterday. And we have a smooth ride. Can you have a look and see? It feels like it's catching on something somewhere. Should have just done it out there. It's gonna be. Why? So, hey guys, we're leaving. Well, there's a quick time. <laughs> hey guys, we're leaving Montserrat. We've been here for a couple of days. We explored the volcano. We're waiting for the wind to get a little bit lighter. It's still 20 knots of wind and we're ripping seven and a half knots of speed, 20 knots of wind. What'd you the to do? Yeah, we have to go that way. So we're tacking. That's okay, we got lots of time. We got all night and all day tomorrow. Hopefully yeah. It doesn't take that long though. 75 mile trip. Yeah, it's a night sail tonight. It's about 4 p.m. and we hope to arrive around 8 a.m. What did you think of Montserrat, Cole? It was pretty sweet. I like the tour and stuff. I do have to say, I recommend Oops, the local guide. Positive. Positive, man. That was our tour guide. We went right out to Plymouth, which is a town that was destroyed in 1997, I think. The Coast Guard ship way out there. Yeah. They were in the harbor today. I do have to say one thing, it feels good to go fast. Yeah, we're going 6.3 now. Coast Guard. Coast Guard, this is Salt Air 3. Angle 14, the traffic will Coast Guard, this is Salt Air 3. That, uh, what's your last port of call, over? We just left Cars Bay and Montserrat. Right, uh, how much person have on board, over? My wife and my son, three of us total. Roger. Right, uh, 
Roger, where is the vessel registered? We're registered in Canada, in Vancouver, is our home port. Roger, uh, uh, enjoy sailing over. Thank you, sir. You're going to keep an eye on us through the night. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, enjoy your day two. We'll clear back to 1-6. Roger, Coast Guard, 1-6. Well, at least you didn't want to come and board us and do a safety check in the middle of the... Yeah, that would be very nice. Yeah, not now. In Harbor, fine, but not sitting here. Okay, cool. There's the Coast Guard. Our Coast Guard escort. Yeah. <laughs> it's, an it's going the wrong way, though. <laughs> They must be practicing, like you said. All right, I think I'm ready now. Go, mommy. You press play. Is it recording? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, son, let her go. Let her all the way. What's wind speed? 17. Uh, What's our degrees on the wind? 45, 50. We'll, catch, we'll pick up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're only like an hour into a trip. What? I'm bored. So it's a little rough out here as the sun is almost completely gone and inside Chris is trying to mix us up a meal, a one okay. pot meal. Yeah, I already made it but it was challenging getting it out of the fridge and getting it on the stove <laughs> and then keeping the pot on the thing because it's not gimbaled so. No. Because we don't need it gimbaled until now. Yeah. Confirmed. Yeah, it's rough. We're flying. We're doing well though. We're on making yeah, great we're time. Yeah. Nice and warm and cold, you know. Got my slippers on. Because my feet are always so cold that they go numb. What would you say the it the ocean's like right now? 
how would you describe the, the seas? I would call it not very fun because they're uh, uh, back and forth. And they're not as far apart as they were. When they're far apart, they're nice and soothing. But you don't, and you don't hear bang every 10 minutes or so. Yeah, it's, it's just, pretty it's rough so, right now, isn't it? It's a lot nicer. Like right now, it's up and down. And it's bang every 10 minutes or even 5 minutes. It just gets really annoying. Something's beeping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! It's just crazy rough. Poor Kristen Cole are trying to sleep. I bet that's not not working at all. Waves make such a difference. I'd probably be going at all three knots faster if we didn't have all these crazy waves smashing into us and crashing. Some of them were coming in the cockpit too. Huge ones earlier. No stars out. It's pitch black. Well, we're doing 7.2 now. That's good. We're ripping. Only about 20 miles till we get behind the protection of the island. And I don't know what's going to happen then if we're going to still right down or if the waves will calm down and the wind stays up hopefully that's the case keep the wind lose these waves i'll let you know wow this is insane i don't know we're doing seven and a half knots and the boat's just bouncing around like we're on a roller coaster my stomach keeps going into my throat every couple of seconds because we're just down, up and down. The g-forces are crazy. Oh, it's getting a little windy now. It's up to 22 and a half. I don't know how Chris is 7.7. Oh, I got to slow the boat down. 7.8. All right, into the wind a bit. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. We're just flying along. 7.7. Ooh, we're getting a little... I got to go. Well, that's it for this episode of TRIO. Stay tuned for the second half of our night passage to Guadeloupe. And as always, thanks for watching. And hey, special shout out to Kristen, our newest patron, and her dog, Sailor. And maybe think about helping support our videos on Patreon. Every dollar helps keep the videos coming. Cheers.